Australia produces over 500 million tonnes of greenhouse gases, according to current figures. So with the government's launch to phase out the sale of the old-style bulbs and replace them with more compact fluorescent ones, it's hoped that the population, young and old, will play its part in reducing that amount. It's estimated the new bulbs can radically cut household power bills. It's also put Australia in the same green league as Cuba, which launched a similar energy-efficient lighting scheme two years earlier. Prime Minister John Howard has recently become a global warming convert. He admits that people's way of life is having an effect on rising temperatures. Here's something practical that everybody will participate in. They'll be a bit dearer to start off with, but over time uh, they'll be less expensive and they'll last four to ten times longer. Uh, so the, we, we, we need to take practical measures in order to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But this move hasn't taken the heat of the government's commitment to green issues. It still hasn't signed up to the Kyoto Protocol, and environmentalists in Australia, while welcoming the scheme, say it's a drop in the ocean, and the focus should be on the coal-fired industries. I think any effort on energy efficiency is a good idea, but it's really tiddlywinks around the edges of a hugely significant problem. There will be some exceptions to the ban, such as medical lighting and oven lights, but the environment is expected to be a key issue in the general elections later this year, and this government now wants to be seen in the right light. Jatinda Dillon, BBC News.